Welcome to lesson 8.3 on Geometry Grade 8s. In this lesson, we're going to be doing, uh, we're going to be building objects from their views. Now, this one's going to be tough because a lot of you are challenged when it comes to drawing things. So we're going to do the best we can, and I'll give you some hints on what we can do to overcome some of the evaluation issues. But you're just going to have to try and draw this the best you can, with the best ability you can, and hopefully between the two of us, I'll be able to figure out what you're doing uh, incorrectly or incorrectly and help you out in class as we're doing our drawing. So you're, only to, you're going to need a set of linking cubes again. So what's going to happen is real simple. I need you to construct this object. Now, you're going to be given, these are the four views. Now remember, the four views are the front down here. This is the top view. So that should give you an idea how tall it is in terms of the front view, as well as what the top view gives you. And then looking from the side view and the other side view, you should be able to get a pretty good idea of what this looks like. So I'd like you to take and create it with your pop cubes and then when I want what I want you to do is I want you to take those and I want you to draw a three-dimensional object of what those looks like so I'm going to lead you through the first one just so you understand what's going on this will help you so that you have an opportunity so this is what you what you have created and, and basically here's your front view okay and you can see from the from our object there's your front view our right side view is right here our left side view is right there, and of course our um, our top view looks like this. All right, you'll notice it's a two by two. So you see, there's what we've got, and your job is to create this object from the views. Now it's going to be a challenge. It's trial and error. It's not something you can just look at and go, "Oh, I get it." Though sometimes it may be this just that easy for some of you. For others, it's going to be a challenge. So once you create it and you think you've got it right, then you go right back and you double check every one of the views. The object you have, if it has this front view, it checks out. If the object you have has this side view, it checks out. If the object has the left-hand side view that looks like this, then again, it checks out. And of course, if your top view is correct, then your object is correctly made. Now, here's what the problem is. You have to take this object and you have to draw it to the best of your ability and put an arrow showing what you think is the front view. All right now, that's an easy one. Let's go on to a more difficult one. All right, so here is the object. I want you to take and see if you can build the object. So pause the recording and do your best to build the object. All right, let's see how you did. Here is what the object is supposed to look like. Okay. So maybe I just go straight to your front view. Here's your front view, and it matches up. Okay, you'll notice there's no left side here because the left side and the right side are exactly the same. But here's your front view. All right, right side. Right there, and of course your top view. Right there. All right. So what does this look like as a three-dimensional object? It should look like this with your front view arrow coming from this side right here. So your solution should look something like this. All right. Again, front, right, top view. Front, right, top view. See if you can create it. So stop the video, sorry, pause the video and give it your best shot. All right, there we go. This is what it should look like. All right, there is your object. Now let's take a look at the views and see how they match up. Here's your front view, and you notice it's three tall and three wide. Three tall and three wide. Okay, your right side. Two wide, and then three tall on the right side. So two wide and three tall on the right side. Going back to the front view so I can go back to my top view. And this is what your top view looks like. Three on the top, coming down with the bottom over here on the right-hand side. So when you're done, you should be able to hopefully draw this. Now, this is where we get into trouble. So what's going to happen on your tests and quizzes is I'm going to allow you to have your phone, if it's open on, uh, on, your, on your camera, and you're going to be able to video, sorry, not video, you're going to be able to take a quick snapshot 
of your object, and I'll show you how to do this with a piece of, it's going to be on a piece of paper with the arrow pointed at the front. So what I'll expect you to do is have a piece of paper, and then you'll take your arrow and you'll put your arrow, you know, up here, and you'll put your object right on the paper with the arrow pointing at the front, and then you'll take a picture of it. And once that picture is done, you can email it to me with your name, obviously, and then I'll be able to tell whether or not, from your picture, whether or not you matched up to what you're supposed to have. This is how we're going to get around some of your drawing issues. Now, for those of you who can draw, don't worry about it. Just draw it and send it to me. But I know that from experience that some people really have difficulties with this. All right, let's go and try something slightly more difficult. Here we go. Three view, three, four views this time. So you'll see now that I've got your left, right views are included, as well as your front and your top. So pause the recording and see how you do. Okay, so this is what you should have built. All right, now let's get the animation up, and you can have an idea. Of what we'll turn it. You can compare it to what you what you think we're supposed to have here. Okay, so there's our views. Here we are. So here is our front view right there, or our overall view. Now, let's take a look at our front view. Does it look like that? An L shape going up on the left and going on the right. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to our right hand side. Looks a little bit okay. There's our left uh, three up on the left on the right hand side and three across the bottom. All right. Now let's take a look at our left hand side. All right. So left hand side, three up on the left side and three across the bottom. Good. And of course, let's go to our top view. And there you are. Top view looks like that. It matches perfectly. So we've done it correctly. So the problem is. Can you actually draw that? All right. Now, when you're doing this, we take a look at it. Here's my isometric view here. You can see I've got my little arrow here on my front view. So when you do it, you have to put in your front view, looking at it from this point of view here, so that I can know that this is front, that's front, and these three stacks up here are the front. Follow how it works? OK, let's go to the next one. Oh, there's no next one. I guess what happens here is because it just there, there really is nothing more to this lesson, it's a very short lesson. Okay, so come and see me if you have any trouble. We'll see you later.